because black women rejected you in college, you're now bunny hopping with white women in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's an excuse. Black men, that's an excuse. Stop using black women as an excuse for your bunny hopping. <laughs> Stop using black women as an excuse for your bunny hopping. If you are bunny hopping, you are showing the world that you have no faith in yourself. You have no love for your race. You have no commitment to your community. And most of all, no loyalty to the black woman that gave birth to you. And most. Okay, what the fuck? What? Now, this is a weird place. Why do people take it into this place? What the hell does that have to do with anything? Let, let, let me make sure I understand this. Because teenage black girls bullied and teased you in high school. You're going to use that as an excuse for why you're bunny hopping in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. Get your ass up out of here with that. All due respect, shut the hell up. I want to hear that. Now, coming from Umar Johnson, sometimes the message is great. The messenger is terrible. Terrible. My nigga, where is your black wife? Where is your black queen that you propelled and ascended to uh, marriage and a uh, family? Where is all that? I swear he has daughters. Didn't he make a single mother? But Terrell Owens has said this. Childish Gambino has said this. Tons of other black men, be they professional celebrity or just everyday hard-working black men many black men have argued the reason that they are bunny hopping many black men have argued the reason that they are bunny hopping i don't know if shannon sharp would be included in that i don't know if shannon said that he didn't get attention from black women younger in life or not i don't know that's what you guys are posting now. But no matter who said it, no matter who said it, no matter when they said it, no matter where they said it, I want any black man who wants to use the excuse that the reason you're dating black, white women now, the reason you are bunny hopping, the reason you are bunny hopping in your 40s is because you got rejected by black girls in your teenage years. That doesn't make any sense to me. And that's what I said. Shout out to Umar for this point. That's what I'm like. This makes no sense, Terrell Owens. The Terrell Owens shit, he was trying to appear, he was trying to give reasoning and copium to try to act like I can still be pro black and it was this, this, and that, giving an excuse, putting the accountability on somebody else because he was coming for Stephen A. Smith for his pro black shit. So he was trying to cover all the bases. My nigga, you can interracial date chest out. We don't care. We're in a different era. Get over it. Whoa! We don't, but what we see all the time is these guys say, oh, black women weren't checking for me. So if black women weren't checking for you in your teenage years or your early 20s, as a 40-year-old man, how do you make that as an excuse? This is what this is a great point Umar makes, and I made this in the last stream. What is your excuse? You just want an interracial date. Just do it. You don't have to have an excuse. They're checking for you now, right? And you say, like, you just date whatever race you want. Stop making an excuse. Oh, they weren't checking for me. They were putting me down. They were roasting me. My skin complexion. All these bullshit ass excuses. But that's teenage and that's youth shit. You grow out of that as an adult. That's just fuckery. So the little teasing and the little excuses, it's like, grow up, my nigga. You're a grown ass man. Using it as an excuse for your teenage. It's ridiculous, man. All this arrested development. We see so much arrested development online with these guys talking about, oh, like this in high school, in high school. It's like, yo, grow up. You're a grown-ass man. Why are you still living in your high school trauma? People always act like, oh, yeah, I was victimized. I was hurt. I have this damage. It's like, great. Nobody's shitting on your damage and your trauma, but it's your responsibility to heal. So it's not your fault you're damaged, but it's your responsibility as a grown-ass man to heal. That doesn't make any sense to me. That doesn't make any sense to me. So you're bunny hopping with white women in your 40s because you got turned down from sisters in your 20s. That doesn't make any, any sense to me at all. That doesn't make any sense to me at all. So you're telling me that you're suffering from post-traumatic rejection disorder. That's what you're telling me. Terrell Owens, 
you suffer from post-traumatic rejection disorder. That's what you telling me. That's what you telling me. So since the black girls didn't like you, you suffer from post-traumatic rejection disorder. That's to this day, to this day, to this day. That's what you telling me. That's what you telling me. So since the black girls didn't like you in elementary school, you bunny hopping with white women in your 40s. Since black girls didn't like you in high school, you bunny hopping with white girls in your 50s. Because black women rejected you in college, you're now bunny hopping with white women in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. That's an excuse. Black men, that's an excuse. Stop using black women as an excuse for your bunny hopping. <laughs> Stop using black women as an excuse for your bunny hopping. Let's look at all the rejection we get from white folks. Let's draw a parallel here. Let's draw a psychological parallel. Look at all the rejection black people suffer at the hands of white people. We get mistreated in white people's restaurants, but yet we still go back. We get mistreated in white people's shopping centers, and yet we still go back. We get mistreated in white people's grocery stores, and yet we still go back. We get mistreated at white people's universities, and yet we still go back. We get mistreated in white people's neighborhoods, and yet we still go back. We get mistreated on white people's jobs, and yet we do not quit the job. So you mean to tell me, when white people mistreat... Now, I don't know about y'all, but... Stop the cap. I don't know about all that. And he threw in the university there because he's trying to make that Deion Sanders point with the whole Colorado. That you, you're you're going to try that, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not saying racism doesn't exist, but let's get it. You, it's okay to go back to them. When white people undermine you, it's okay to go back to them. When white people marginalize you, it's okay for you to go back to white people. But because black girls suffering from the same self-hatred you suffer from, because black girls suffering from the same self-hatred you suffer from rejected you, teased you, and ignored you in 6th and 7th grade. Let, let, let me make sure I understand this. Because teenage black girls bullied and teased you in high school, you're going to use that as an excuse for why you're bunny hopping in your 30s, 40s, and 50s. Get your ass up out of here with that. Get your ass up out of here with that. And I'm not directing this to Terrell. O now, hold up. There's an elephant in the room. Hold up. What is this shit? All due respect, shut the hell up. I want to hear that. Now, coming from Umar Johnson, sometimes the message is great. The messenger is terrible. Terrible. My nigga, where is your black wife? Where is your black queen that you propelled and ascended to uh, marriage and a family? Where is all that? I swear he has daughters. Didn't he make a single mother? So what are we talking about? Stop faking the funk, my nigga. I'm getting rich. Ah. Shout out to Brother Jumby with the $5 super chat. It's funny I'm talking about Terrell Lowens and I got on Eagles Green right now. It's funny, I'm talking about Terrell Owens and I got on the Eagles. Yo, did I miss a pause when I was doing this? Stick together. Pause. It's green right now. It's funny, I'm talking about Terrell Owens and I got on Eagles green right now. But this is not about Terrell Owens. This is not about Terrell Owens. This is about all black men and any black man. From Alabama to Australia. From London to Louisiana. From Canada to Turks and Caicos, from Brooklyn to Botswana, from Johannesburg to New Jersey, any black man in the African diaspora, any black man on the planet Earth who is bunny hopping. I don't care if you're brown bunny hopping, white bunny hopping, yellow bunny hopping, or red bunny hopping. If you are bunny hopping. You are showing the world that you have no faith in yourself. You have no love for your race. You have no commitment to your community.
<laughs> and most of all, no loyalty to the black woman that gave birth to you. And most. Okay, what the fuck? What? Now, this is a weird place. Why do people take it into this place? What the hell does that have to do with anything? I, I don't like when people make this argument. Your mother is black, so you're disrespecting her by not dating a black woman. That, that doesn't make any type of sense whatsoever. You're not trying to date your mother, you weirdo. What kind of weird shit is... Man. And go marry a black woman with this rhetoric, man. Right, we ain't trying to hear that shit. Now, shout out to Francois with the $2 super chat. I'm getting rich. Ah. Francois says LTTV bleach himself like Charlamagne the God. Hey, yo. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up before I get to talking hey, shit. Hey, yo, Francois. You. Stop the cap. It's a total fabrication. I would not ever in my life bleach my skin. Come on, man. What are we doing out here? <laughs> Most of all, no loyalty to the black woman that gave birth to you. And most of all, no loyalty to the black woman that gave birth to you. So that, that whole loyalty to the black woman that gave birth to you makes no sense. That makes no sense. I don't understand that.